What is going on guys, it is Hugh and welcome back to the channel, back again with another camo tip video. This time we're going to be going over the dead eye camo category, which of course is 2,000 kills as a result of an equipped revenant. Hey, Kuyan from the editing bay here. Uh, I'm an idiot and I kept calling it Revenants instead of Covenants. So uh, I just want to be real clear here. It's called Covenants. I'm an idiot and was saying Revenants. All right, that's all. Peace. Now, for those uninitiated, the Revenants are those things that you trade in at the altar with hearts. So stuff like Cryo Freeze, uh, Brain Rot, all that jazz. Now, admittedly, I was using Cryo Freeze for the longest time with the STG until I realized that this strategy is 10 times better and 10 times faster. So omit cryo freeze, and instead we're gonna be searching for unholy ground. This doubles your damage, or maybe not doubles it, but it, it maxes my, it improves your damage while stationary. And then we're gonna go hop into harvest, which I have two strategies for. One is a hotel royale spawn, and the other is an apartment spawn. Granted, this is, you know, this strategy is RNG reliant, of course, as most things are with camos, because we can't have anything set in stone. But I would just, you just use Harvest as a baseline because trying to farm for Harvest Apartments with this particular spawn, which I believe only happens on phase three anyway, that's a bit of a bitch. So just use Harvest and manipulate the spawns as best you can. The rule of thumb is only have one or two ways that they can funnel in, as you can see on this Hotel Royale footage. And that's it. That's all you have to do. What you're, what you're seeing me doing here is getting kills with Equipped Revenants because I'm standing still. So every kill I get because I am standing still is counting towards my camo because that's what unholy ground unholy ground does is it increases your damage while stationary. And that's really all there is to it. Instead of using cryo freeze making this 10 times slower, this trivializes it beyond belief and just makes it 10 times easier. So I highly 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 recommend getting unholy ground. Hopefully you know, your luck is on your, you know, luck is on your side and you get it pretty quickly on the altar. It seems to pop up pretty, pretty frequently. So, and there's not many covenants in the game to begin with or covenants, revenants. So, you know, lady luck aside, this is still by far and away the easiest way to farm this. And because you can just sit and harvest all day, ignoring the objective trivializes it. And, um, that, that's it. That's really all there is to it. I do have the gold shotgun, the revolver shotgun. I finally got it in gold. I will have a showcase of that going up. Hopefully soon, I need to uh, get some footage showing it off. Really bummed that they haven't added weapon inspect yet, and I'm really hoping they buffed weapon XP, or they, I'm really hoping they buff weapon XP, because it is dreadful having to only do a few rounds of the next fill. But yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a video talking about all that stuff in a, at, a, at a separate date. Thank you for so much for checking out the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment. It helps the algorithm. Share the video around with your friends if they need some help. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.